pretty good when you can see the bottom. Nice and clear water. And that's about six foot deep. About six foot deep. I mean, I knew it wasn't like extremely deep, but I mean, I can see the water still over that dirt. Or see the water. Well, duh. I can see the rocks. <laughs> Look at the houses built up in the hills up there. Isn't that beautiful? What an amazing view those people have. Lottery houses? Yeah. That's where I'd build mine. Beautiful lake. But we're going to go kayaking and then go around this point. And if I see anything interesting, I'll video it. Hoppy this water is. And there's like no boats out here today. This is just from wind. Whew. It's pretty. But it's so choppy. We're out here visiting our friends Bill and Deb with iRide Tiny House Adventures. And Bill is actually filming a video for their YouTube channel. He's doing a review on those solar panels right there. But if you want to see the review, you're going to have to go over to their channel. We'll have a link in the description. I might have accidentally gotten in his shot. And there's Deb! Hi, Deb! We're so glad you guys came to see us. See, we really do know them. <laughs> We're not just saying that. We're going to fix some dinner here in a little bit. Yeah! We're going to have some pasta. And look at the pretty baby, Delilah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Isn't that a pretty sky? We got a storm rolling in. Lake's pretty quiet this evening. Oh, I may have seen a little bit of lightning. It's a Monday. So, not a lot of boats on the lake. Those clouds look pretty awesome. Holy macaroni! My camera wants to lighten that up a lot. It looks a lot darker with the eye. Whew, we have got a storm brewing. The wind has picked up so much. Look at those waves. That water is crazy. I'm not going to go out there kayaking in this. There is no way. Wow. It might be raining back off over there. Look 
at that. That's so pretty though. It's really pretty watching those waves on those rocks. I don't know if you can hear how strong that wind is since I got the microphone in, but wow. It is really blowing around. Let me show you the... See those trees? They're whipping pretty good. Crazy lightning, a lot of strikes coming straight down. It's pretty awesome. We're getting a little bit of lightning. Lightning much, huh? It will to turn up when you Well, turn yeah, it I want to turn it off, it will. That's the way it always goes. Well, we stomped here. We're going through Eureka Springs. I was actually trying to get to the doggy store uptown. And I saw this and I'm like, hey, what's that say? Because I seen something on the on this wall here. And it says the Grotto Spring. I We've been to Eureka Springs so many times and I have never seen this before. And oh my goodness, it's so cool down here. I can just feel the coolness. So the words Esto Perpetua emblazoned upon a stone above the entrance to Grotto Spring declare the prevailing belief that these healing waters would flow forth forever. Early townspeople discovered the spring under an overhanging rock ledge a short distance from the well-known Dairy Spring. So you can actually like come in here and Oh man, it's cool in here. Hope there's nothing living in here. <laughs> Looks like uh, some things have been left. It looks like more like somebody's using it as a shrine. Hmm. Very interesting. What a neat little spot to run across. I don't want to get too close because it's like some machinery or something going on over there. But some of you uh, ghost people that love the paranormal, paranormal buffs we'll call you. This is the famous Crescent Hotel in Eureka Springs. That is a gorgeous building. I love the building. It is supposed to be haunted. It's supposed to be very haunted actually. So that's really cool. We've never actually been up beside it. We actually accidentally ran across it. So that's pretty neat. Go in here to the Blackies pet shop. We're pretty sure we have never put this in any of our videos, but we have been here and seen this. So we want to take you guys and show you because it is really cool. And I don't remember the name of the guy that built this church, but I do remember that it was something that he wanted to do because he felt like it was like, um, maybe like, I can't remember exactly how they put it, a little more closer to God to be so close to nature. At the time, you know, while you're worshiping. So, this is a glass church.
I'm probably not going to be talking while I'm in here, so... We saw a sign for Lake Leatherwood, so we drove down in here, to, and I say down in here because that was probably four or five miles down the road, it seemed like. We got a big old lake down here. And a dock, fishing dock, boat dock, boat for paddle boats, and Maybe kayaking and stuff. This is a no week lake. Which means no, no, no motors. More than, no more than a trolling motor, probably. Mm -mm. Pretty quiet down in here. Picnic tables and stuff. This is just up the road from the well way down the road but is you know after you turn off but off the highway is just up the road from the chapel and not but what maybe two three miles from Eureka Springs yeah. so I had to walk up here because I needed to get this on video because this is funny Funny. I don't know what that means. Help feed Bigfoot. There's a thing you can scan. I don't know. Probably wanting donation money, I'm assuming. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of walking trails around this Leatherwood Lake area, but I saw this as we were driving in and I had to come back and get a picture or shot of it. Isn't that pretty? That looks really old and I seriously kind of want to walk down in there. So I'm assuming it probably looks like that on this side too. There's supposed to be like an overlook up that trail right there. But I don't have any clue how long of a trail it is or anything like that and if it's an overlook that means it's got to go up right yeah i don't know if you can see any of that down there i can't see if it's as pretty as the other side oh i gotta get out of the road i think somebody's coming as we promised, we we're at the uh, dam overlook. I'm not going to go through all these signs because Jesse says we already did that before. So there's another video somewhere of ours that has that in it. That's huge. We're up pretty high because those cars look so fairly small. Over there is the campground that we're staying in. We get on this other side, you can see our see our camper from here. Just gonna walk. Oh, was that coming out a second ago? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't paying attention.
It's very pretty though, off in the distance. Oh, there's a, looks like a house right up there in the middle of that hill. Uh-huh. I believe that's the White River. White River? Yep. Well, maybe we can figure out how to get down in there and get up by the river and show them the river. We'll walk back over here. I want to show them that you can see our our camper from up here. There's like a trail up here too. We're not gonna do it because it's like two miles and I mean it's been raining off and on today but like right over there there's a trail that goes up in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you look right in between these tree things. Way off in the distance, you see that little white square? That's our camper. Well, now we're down at the bottom of the dam. If you look up there, you can see the overlook. That's where we were just a few minutes ago. But we're going to go over here. Looks like there's a little trail. And we're going to see if it takes us right down to the river. And hopefully it's not a very long trail. It don't look like it should be. I still don't have, you know, appropriate hiking shoes on today. Yeah. See it from down here. Ooh, nice little concrete walking steps here path how fancy of them somebody lost their shoe that's a bummer I wonder if surely people don't come over here and swim you don't think do you are that would that even be allowed true well that's awful I don't think I'd want to swim in that. Right here was a little dead area. Well. <clears throat> That's kind of rough terrain there. Ooh. Is it slippery? <gasps> Well, those rocks there, <laughs> let her loose are a little slippery. This looks slippery. Put your foot right there. There we go. Okay. Okay. Woo! That was, yeah. So anyway. There's a pipe chained to a rock. It's interesting. Here. Can you see the dam? See the bald head? That's a pretty wide river, actually. Yeah, that'd be a good place to swim right, right over there. Over there. Yeah, there's no current there. Yeah, because that is flowing there. That'd be pretty. flowing on the kayak. Yeah, you could start up there right by the dam and then just push you right on down the river. That'd be great. Pretty clear, though, isn't Very it? Very clear. Yes. How deep do you think that is? Right. Three, four, yeah. maybe? Maybe. See how cold it is. That's cold. Is it cold? Very cold. Wait, I want to put my footy in it. Wait a minute, I gotta take my shoe off. Hold on. Let me take my shoe off. Hold on. I'm still trying to take my shoe off. Okay. Whoa! Shoot! Why is that?
that so much colder than the lakeside? Maybe because it's pulling the water from the very deepest parts of the lake. Wow, that is, is cold. Well, you know, that lake is pretty much spring fed, so it stays. See the rocks? How deep you think that is right oh, there? Oh, that's probably seven, eight foot deep. So right in this area would probably be good for swimming in. Yeah, especially back here in this pool. Back here. How do you think that's deep? Jump well, in, jump in there and no, see how deep I that is. I bet that's seven foot deep at least. Well, I think we need proof. No, no it's cold. <laughs> Spoil sport. <laughs> There's what we got at the doggy store. A couple of little bitty bones and then one big giant one. Look at this big old giant bone. Do you want that? You need that big cookie? I think we'll break it in half. Or maybe just give you a little one. Look at her, she's dripping. She's drooling. Martin Greer's Candies. This is a three generation family business with candy recipes dating back to the Civil War. The guy, original guy, started the business and the way I understand it, he started making candies in his kitchen and then started business and his son took over the business. He taught him everything he knew. And now he's teaching his son everything he knows. And they're just passing it down generation to generation. And I am going to go in here and find some yummy chocolate. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We need to get some, but we have no Thank you. 
pool there. You can see him making the... Super cool. You can watch them. Now she's getting our order ready. We placed an order. They bring you a sample. You get to pick a sample and then you just go through and you tell them, look at all the candies and tell them what you want. And then they go through like she's doing now and gathers it all up. Oh, they have a little wagon of salt water taffy too it's a neat little store too it feels kind of homey or something he started making candy in 1924 that's very cool that was pretty cool and i ended up not even getting a full pound of chocolate and we got quite a few now I just got to be careful not to eat it all at one time. So this place is located, um, what were we, about eight miles west of Eureka Springs off of Highway 62. So if you're going to Eureka Springs, you might want to make an extra little stop and come out here and get some really good candy. And I hope you heard that because that guy was really loud as he was going by. We're going to head back to the campsite.